<laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself besides you being from Bowling Green. Uh, I started performing and singing uh, probably about 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Started out in church. Went from that, like won tons of competitions, trophies. Uh, been judged by Clay Underwood from Nashville. Done a lot as far as music, met a lot of different people. Performed with the Colton Steel Band out of Nashville. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here. Now what is Brad I'm a really down-to-earth guy. Uh, I definitely know what hard work is. I respect hard-working people. I'm true blue, down-home, roots, country. Um, so we already heard a little bit about your singing experience. Where did it all really begin when, when you were a kid? Where, where was that first monumental moment where you were like, I'm going to do this? I think I was in church with my dad. Mm -hmm. My grandfather, he was a, a pastor of church in Kentucky. He was a preacher, and my dad's a preacher. And I started singing in, in with him a little bit. and. Before I knew it, I had the church requesting me to sing songs, so I'm like, wow. Apparently they think I'm good, so maybe this is something I can do. What inspires you every day you get up and then right when you step in front of that mic? What inspires you to want to do? I guess I just want to, it makes me feel good, for one. Mm -hmm. it makes me feel good, uh, I guess mainly it's for self-esteem and I just I just love the music. I love what it, how it makes people feel, what it does to them, and it tells a story pretty much. That whole thing is defined as passion. <laughs> that's that's what you do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, all the time, you and I both know we're hearing, oh, I hate country music. Yeah. <laughs> Beer and tears, and your dog ran away. Tell me what you would say to the country music skeptic. I would have to say, you know, even though some of that is in the country music, it's not all about that. There's there's good things, there's love, there's living, there's, you know, what Grandpa did with these old car, you know, 40 years ago. So there's a lot of good things about country, too. All about life and love. Right. What would you want to say, now as you know, we have a panel of judges, which hopefully you'll be able to meet soon. Uh, if you had your chance now, what you do, to say anything you wanted to the judges and your potential voters, what would it be? I would say, please vote for me. I have a lot of fans. I have, I have a lot of people that think I'm great. Uh, I've been in Nashville. I think I could definitely take this somewhere with the support of you, and I would just really appreciate your vote. Give us your best reaction if you were to win the whole thing. The Visions Country Hitmaker Challenge this year. Ready? Go. Oh my God, I can't believe I won. Did I really win? <laughs> very nice. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah.